What's up, Raven Nation? I'm Tyler Rago alongside Franklin Pierce men's hockey coach Sean Miller. And coach, um, before we get into any talk of this season, uh, you played a preseason game. Um, you have your home, op or rather, you have your season opener coming up on Friday, and you have a fairly new team. So there's a lot of change going on. You had a big, a big number of players to deal with, and a handful of cuts already. You've played one preseason game. What have you liked so far from your team? Yeah, so uh, the, the preseason game, I think, was huge for us. We didn't have that opportunity last year. And uh, to go up to New England College and play uh, a team and a program that, is, that has always been uh, successful, um, you know, it was huge for us. Great opportunity. Uh, obviously, the outcome uh, wasn't what we were looking for, losing uh, one nothing. But uh, I do think we learned you know, a lot about ourselves as a team and, and the coaching staff was able to take uh, quite a bit away from uh, some of the guys, um, you know, that are, that are looking to, to earn some playing time. So, like you mentioned, uh, we have quite a bit of freshmen uh, and, and several that I see uh, having an impact right away for us. And then we have the returners, the, the usual suspects, Alex Lester, uh, Cam Shepherdson, Jack Williams, those guys that uh, are, are coming back and, and, you know, really looking to have standout years. We talk about having a young team. You yourself also a young coach as well, just coming into your second full season. Talk about though the impact that those players that you just mentioned, the, the upperclassmen like the Lesters and the Williams, what kind of effect do they have, not only with their on the ice play, but off the ice as well with such a young team? Yeah, I mean those guys are great. Uh, you know, taking taking players under their wing, uh, they're all, all those guys are in, in leadership roles for us, uh, and they've been outstanding right from the get go, greeting uh, the new guys, you know, when they when they got on campus, taking them under their wing and, uh, you know, really showing them the ropes and, and kind of teaching them the culture that we've uh, really begun to, to build here uh, at Franklin Pierce, and I think that's huge. So in terms of uh, the development from the new guys and the freshmen, uh, it's just uh, credit to our to our upperclassmen for um, taking that upon themselves to, to make that happen. As a fairly new head coach with a fairly new team, it's a unique opportunity you have in terms of implementing the kind of philosophy you always kind of hear, especially with hockey, you know, what kind of game do we want to play? So that's the question I'll ask you for this upcoming season with this sort of mixed bag of guys, uh, young and old, what kind of style are you looking to play here? This yeah, so, so mean and fast are two words that I think uh, come to mind when we talk about our style or what we're looking to accomplish out there. I think fast in terms of uh, up and down the ice, uh, not run and gun, but uh, the mentality is get the puck, we lose the puck, get the puck back, attack the net. Uh, and, and then in our defensive zone, where we've had struggles for sure in the past, um, to really be mean, uh, gritty, you know, get in those areas uh, and, and make it, uh, you know, difficult on the other teams to, to get into our net front and uh, to create offense. So mean and fast, and when you're talking about style of play, uh, that's what we're really going to try to bring to the table this year. And defensively, you guys took a pretty big hit, obviously, with losing Tom McGuckin in goal. You've spoken pretty highly, though, of Ian Wallace as likely a replacement. Talk about what you've liked from his play, both in practice and in the preseason so far. So, yeah, I mean, he's our hardest worker uh, on and off the ice in the gym. Uh, he's outstanding. Uh, I really, really do think uh, the transition from uh, Tom to Ian and, and the other guys that we've brought in will be as seamless uh, as, you can, as it can be, you know, when you're talking about uh, a former any time goaltender of the year, um, you know it's we're never going to replace you know what he did and um, what he brought to this program. But I do think Ian uh, is ready to uh, kind of have that torch passed to him uh, and, and really take the reins and, and you know carry us. Uh, and, ca and when we talk about bulk, he's going to play a lot. Uh, and I think I do think he's ready to, for that based on his work ethic, based on. You know, he's, a, he's one of those guys, and it's cliche, but he, he's first on the ice, last off the ice um, kind of guy. And that, it, it, so far, I think it's, uh, it, it's easy to see in, in terms of his play. So, Ravens open up on the road against Suffolk. It's not an easy matchup, Coach, but what are you looking to get forward out of game one? Yeah, it's always a toss-up uh, going into to game one. They've had one scrimmage as well. Uh, so, again, I think... You know, they, a couple of their tendencies um, that we've seen in years past that in the offensive zone, uh, they put everything on net. So that's one thing we're aware of. We need to make sure we take away time and space. But at the end of the day, especially early on, we really want to focus on what we can control. So, uh, you know, that, that's um, doing everything in all three zones. You know, the little things, making hard hockey plays, um, 
you know, back checking with purpose, all things, all choices that, that we can make, especially early on where, um, you know, that can maybe have, you know, make a difference in the game. Uh, I do think special teams will be huge with some of the new rule changes. So uh, that's something we've harped on a lot, um, both uh, offensively and, and also on the penalty kill. Uh, I think special teams will win and lose you games, especially early on with uh, how the refs are going to be calling it. So that's another thing we're looking for, and, and hopefully we can win the, uh, the special teams battle against Suffolk. So the Ravens open up this Friday on the road at Suffolk, and then they're home Tuesday, October 30th against Anna Maria. Coach, before we let you go here on this early edition of Media Monday, uh, give us a fun fact about yourself, something people might not know about Sean Dorick. So <clears throat> you would have known probably uh, <laughs> if you were tuned in a year ago to Media Monday, but uh, for those of you who weren't, this is actually my second time on, on Media Monday, so uh, I, I thought it went well uh, the, the second time going. Maybe... Uh, you can have me back uh, in the near future. Try and make it a perfect three for three. He's Sean Milrick. I'm Tyler Rago. Thanks for tuning in, Raven Nation.